Now we shall venture back to the skies to uh do some stuff. Do some side stuff. Cause that's what you gotta do when the when Zelda's in danger is do side quests. Yeah, what else are you gonna do? Lord Gary is such a dick. He didn't even stay and watch my fight. I, I, yeah, I go um, get, I go gather some uh, goddess chests first. But uh, the one I'm about to get is the 300 rupee one. But I don't know that at this point. So I'm at full, I'm at full capacity with my wallet. So I, uh, so I completely wasted it, which kind of annoyed me. But eh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I fiddle about with the map a bit here. Uh, you know, mark the specific tiny island so I know which one to go to. Uh, what the hell is this place? Is this bamboo? Is that bamboo, rather? And the goddess cube's at the back here. And it has the 300 gold rupee, which I completely uh, waste. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, I didn't stop. I'm just like shit. I wasted it. I mean, I guess I could have just reset. Now that I think about it, but I don't know. I don't really care that much to be honest. Now, who's this fatty? I see his belly button. Yeah, who are you? Yep, I'm, I'm sure that's true. <laughs> Princess of the item check. Yeah, this is just another mini game, basically. Where you can uh, cut bam bamboo. If you get enough, you get a prize. Probably a heart piece. I don't know. I haven't actually. I've never actually done it before. This is my first time. I just never bothered to come here, so I had to get the guy's chest. And uh, my previous playthrough of the game. Yeah, so it, was, it yeah, it's just like you said. You just try to cut the bamboo. Yeah, I love it how you. He's charging me to cut bamboo. He doesn't even own this place. He's just here to practice swordsmanship. You know, he doesn't own this place, and he has the balls to charge me. Imagine if you ran into some guys, some guy in the woods. He didn't own the forest. He was just there. It's like, hey, if you give me twenty bucks, I'll let you chop down this tree. It's like, who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah, you need a. Uh, uh, 15 cuts to uh, get a prize. Yeah, here's a little bit of a hint for later stuff. Yeah, yeah, uh, so that's a little bit of a foreshadowing that you'll get a longer sword as the game progresses. But not until, not until, uh, much later. Catch me, catch me, catch me! Thank you. Where was Laserbeak? I mean, is he just cruising around? Does he go off to take a nap? Or yeah, where are all the loft wings? Isn't everyone in Skyloft supposed to have one? Yet you don't really see that many of them, you know, about. You don't see them like roosting anywhere. You don't see them flying around that much. I don't know. Just a small detail I noticed because I'm stupid that way. Eh, gotta make it. Into the hole. Oh, for God's sake. Uh. Dive, dive, dive. Let's go check out what's at the bazaar. As soon as it loads. There we go. But uh, here's what uh, the thing about the item check girl is that I thought you just had to talk to her as you progress the main story. But it ha it's uh, when you progress through, you know, days. Like, you can sleep t until day or night. Um, so if you talk to her one day, you gotta sleep until the next day to get a new reaction out of her. But uh, I learned that pretty quickly. I'm just looking for Beetle's Air Shop. I where, where is he? Oh, there he is! He just popped right the fuck out of nowhere. What a... Yeah, yeah... Uh, it's kind of a shitty way to get customers. Got to wait till the bell rings. You know, it's so loud inside his shop. How does he even hear it? Now that I think about it. 
I must know. I guess he has superhuman hearing, considering how badass he is. He could easily kick, uh... Could easily have kicked, uh, Lord Gary's ass if he wanted to. Look at the look at that look at that physical perfection. <laughs> yeah, you can get a bunch of upgrades to your wallet. Now all for a hundred rupees. That what a steal. If only I had gotten this first. Before I went to that goddess chest. I am so thankful that wallets are not part of the item pouch. That would suck. Or adventure pouch, whatever. Yeah, why does he have this? Didn't Fledge make this? Or did he just buy him from here and say he make it? And did he just claim he made it? Fledge, Fledge, Fledge. You rosy cheeked motherfucker. So yeah, that's all from B. If you don't buy anything, he'll actually trap you. He'll actually, like, uh, throw you down a trap door because he's pissed. <laughs> Which is... A little disturbing, but kind of funny. Yeah, now I made a mistake here. Uh, well, I think I'll... I'm not sure if it's now or later, but... I was under the impression that after getting the second dungeon cleared, I think... Uh, you could do a quest for uh, Colin, uh, Groose's little minion, the blue hair guy. But it's, I don't, it's not until later that you can do it. And I, cause I looked up a guide, and it specifically said it could be done at this point, but... It was wrong. I don't know. It said after I put in this uh, second tablet I have here, I could, uh, or, well, third tablet, that the quest starts, but it's not true. And here's a goddess, uh, unact inactivated goddess chest. Whoa, what? A goddess chest? A goddess cube? What is a goddess cube? Thank you for telling about me about all this, Vi. You're so helpful. Nah, I'm just showing around this place a bit because why the fuck not? And there's that statue again, that little uh, little stone statue, which will become important later. Is this guy Fledge's father? Because he's got the rosiest cheeks in town. <laughs> and they got similar haircuts, so I'm, I don't know. Is he Fledge's dad? I don't. Wait, yeah. So I get a bomb back because why the fuck not? I want that hat. I want that little hat of his. I'll trade you my hat for yours. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, I'm talking to her because uh, I was check. I was checking to see if stamina potions were in stock, but I didn't know. Uh, I had to check the cauldron because uh, there's a side quest with uh, Fledge that requires you to be able to buy the stamina potions. Yeah, here we go. But it's not, uh, it's not available yet. Well, why have it on display if it's not done? Isn't that kind of, like, false advertising? Or, no, not false advertising. I don't know, but it's not nice. Miss Potion Shop Lady, whose name I don't know. And now I'm gonna go get, uh, some more Goddess Cubes. Which, come to think of it, I should... Actually, no, I remember now. I decided to go out to the bazaar because I was, uh... Worried that more of the goddess uh, chests would uh, uh, have rupees. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot I uh, do go uh, put the ta tablet in first. It's been a while since I recorded this. I don't remember the exact uh, you know, sequence of events. It's been like a week since I recorded this. So, sorry for not knowing exactly what happens at each point in time. You know, there's a lot of running around in this game, a lot of side a lot of side stuff I gotta do, so can't remember it all. Hooray, the tablet is complete. It's so pretty. But not really that pretty. <laughs> um Nuke has been launched. I repeat, the nuke has been launched. This joke has not gotten old yet. Nuke has been launched. And there we go. Nuke to the surface again. Way to go, Link. Why what why will you not be satisfied with all this genocide? So yeah, now I can go to the Lanaru Desert. Yeah, I like that. I like uh 
The third area is usually the water temple. So I guess this time Nintendo's like, you guys hate water temples so much? Fuck you. Here's a desert then. No water in sight. Though there is a water temple later. Uh, the fourth temple is, is kind of the water temple, but it's... Luckily, it's very, uh... It's not nearly as uh, difficult or fucking annoying as other water temples. So... Thank God for that. It's a creepy fucking temple, though. I can tell you that much. The ancient cistern. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... Oh, yeah, I was seeing if after the tablet I put in... After I put the tablet piece in, if it will be ready, but it's not. Clearly. Yeah, and uh, you can actually get, like, a... Like, kind of start the call-in quest by talking to this guy. But I was like... Or, yeah, the first guy. But I was, uh... Yeah, he's... This guy's giving you some hints to make some cash. But I, uh... Um... Yeah, I was, uh... Mistake the... I looked up a guide, and it said that after he put that third tablet in, that Colin's quest would start. But it was wrong. So I'm just running around going like, did I do something wrong? What's going on here? But yeah, I'll soon figure out that, no, I cannot start Colin's quest yet. What did you say? Which is a shame, because I really like it. Though I guess at this point in time, I have recorded me doing it, so... Hey, Colin. So I wonder, is his name, is his name based off of a macaw? Or, like, bird Colin? Ha 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 it's not funny. It's not funny at all. Stop laughing. Yeah. Hello, Hawk Nose. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what her name, does she even have a name, the lunch lady? I'm not even sure. I'm just gonna call her Hawk Nose, because I don't really care to look up her name. Hey, Gruz, how you doing? Aw, oh, poor guy. He's all de he's all depressed. Don't worry, Gruz. You'll get your time to shine soon enough. No one mopes like Gruz. Son. I don't fucking know. I was trying to... Like Gaston. I was seeing if her dialogue uh, changed. I think she asked me this before. It's kind of creepy how she asked the random one. <laughs> Hey, what do you think of this guy? Ah, uh, he's okay, I guess. I know, right? He's so sexy and dreamy. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, speaking of Pit Pit. Nice, dorky, ugly yellow outfit, man. That's like the ugliest shade of yellow, honestly. And anyone's taking Zelda going missing pretty well, honestly. Like, better than I than I would be if someone in my neighborhood that everyone liked went missing. Hey, Fledge. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I found her a while ago. Sorry. I didn't tell you. And here I talked to the... Wait, did I, I already talked to him. Why am I talking to him again? I don't even remember why. Uh, yeah, there actually are some more uh, Sheikah stones uh, later on in the game. I I think I was trying to see if I could find Colin's quest, but I couldn't. So it's at this point that I was like, okay, yeah, there's no way, uh, there's no way I can do this quest right now. Those gratitude crystals will have to wait for several several parts. Uh, there's what's his face. I don't even remember his name. Is that Owlin? Is that, was that his name? I don't, I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't think he. I don't think he's ever important again. And even his importance before is debatable. I like this bazaar. It's nice and uh, it's nice and comfy. I like it. Yeah, I'm trying to talk, talk to her. See if it uh progresses. I, I don't think she said this before. I think she said this before, so it hasn't advanced. Yeesh, mopey myrtle. Yeah, I was just trying again. See if it changed. Obviously, it didn't. <laughs> Woe is you. I'd love to be paid to sit and do nothing. That'd be awesome. 
I mean, I assume she's getting paid. Yeah, who pays her now that I think about it? I mean... Like, is she hired by somebody? I'm thinking too much into this. Look, it's, uh... I don't know, it might be Mia. <laughs> I tried to throw it into the water, but I missed. I think it... I, I didn't... I decided not to bother with it. And now I must go and venture forth. Get goddess cubes and, uh... I got, I'm gonna visit the Lumpy Pumpkin again in this part, because, uh... Another one of their, uh... Jo little jobs has opened up. Ah, nice, nice, uh, uh, little icon there, buddy. I don't even remember that guy's name. Did he even tell us his name? I don't even remember. The most popular guy in the sky, Mr. Skyloft. I wonder, are there other giant island colonies, like, elsewhere, or is it just Skyloft? Because the, the, Intro mentioned one island being raised up, yet there are a whole bunch of them scattered about. And also, you know, one island, ver you know, uh, full of people isn't gonna last very long without, you know, going to some inbreeding. Ugh. I don't know, I just think, I just, uh, think about this stuff too deeply. <laughs> too, uh, too much. I think this is the goddess... No, wait. No, one of these goddess cubes I try to get, I'm unable to because I'm pretty sure I need the claw shots for it. Which I don't get until, uh... When do you get the claw shots? Not for a while, I don't think. Certainly not in, not in the first round of uh, the three locations. Yeah, in case it wasn't obvious, you have to visit each of the three locations more than once. I mean, it's kind of obvious since the first two times when we saw the maps get colored in, there were big old, uh, even after the temples were done, there were big, uh, gray areas that never got colored in. So obviously you have to visit new places. Excuse me. Yay, silver rupee. See, I was right to spend my money or else, uh, yeah, I would have gotten 400 rupees and wasted all of them. That would have sucked. I don't know what, I, I, uh. Yeah, that guy's chest, uh... Yeah, I think this is the one where I need the claw shot to get it. Or maybe I just missed something because I'm an idiot, but uh, we'll have to see about that later on. I think what I'm going to do is, like, near the end, I'm just going to have one video of me getting all the goddess cubes and all the chests and all the gratitude crystals, like the individual ones. Just get it all done in one video, like near the end of the game. I don't know, maybe. I missed! <laughs> Laser beak, help me! What a cat? Jeez. Give me a break. That was supposed to be Laser beak. I was so tempted to make him faceplant. That's always fun. But uh, this island actually has two goddess chests. But you can. But only one's open right now. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like I never get anything from the tall grass. Yeah, see, it's still deactivated. So I gotta go exploring for another. Yeah, I make a bit of a blunder here, because I was under the assumption if I just dropped down, I'd be able to call, uh, you know, laser beak, but that is not the case. Sadly. Yeah, you can't just... Yeah, I, I thought I'd be able to call him. I don't know why I can't. Just because I'm not diving? I don't know. Well, I guess falling uh, with your, you know, falling right on the burr with, with your crotch would fucking hurt, so. And just, so there's just one more I have to get. But I, th I think I stop at the Lumpy Pumpkin first to do that mini game. This one, uh, yeah, it's a mini game this time. The first one wasn't really a mini game, but this one is, and the third one, which I have a lot of difficulty with, because it requires the Wii motion controls, like severely. But I can't. We can't play it until uh, until after the third dungeon, because of the item we get inside. Yeah, after playing through this game, I actually, after playing through this again, I learned I hate the Lanayru Desert. 
I like the gimmick, but I hate it still. I I got so pissed off while I was playing. I guess because I suck so much. But I don't know. I just by the end of it, I was just so fucking done with that area. <laughs> uh. Yeah, but hey boss, can you work for me? Why can't he ask me to do simple things like sweep or, you know, uh, you know, clean stuff? But no, I have to do all this intricate shit, like cook or something. I don't know. Pick the pumpkins. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, pumpkins are like the only like crops I ever see in this game. Now that I think about it. Not just here, but on Skyloft too. There are pumpkin patches. I don't see. Uh, I don't see pumpkins anywhere else. I mean, wait, what did I say? I see pumpkins there. I don't see any other uh, crops. Again, I'm just thinking too deep into this shit when there's no reason to. Hello, lady person. I already forgot your name. Pumpkin cake. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, and so, like, she just, she just ran in and be like, okay, let's do five at a time. It's like, what the fuck? Just let me carry it normally. What's wrong with you? <laughs> like, why? Like, she's putting the pumpkins at risk of me dropping and breaking them. Why not just let me carry them like a normal person? I hate shit like this. Like, there's no reason for her to do that. Just, it's just to annoy the player and make it more difficult. You know, I know, let's make it interesting and make it ten times harder than it needs to be. I fucking hate this minigame. Though I do manage to get it in one shot. Though it is pretty easy if you take it slow and steady, so... It's not really much of an accomplishment. Yeah, seriously, what a pain in the ass. Like... There was no reason that she would, like, what was going through her head when it was like, I know, let me have him tower the pumpkins precariously. And, uh, put them all in danger of, you know, dropping them over the edge or something. That'll, yeah, that'll teach him a lesson. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Just take it slow and steady, and when the pumpkins lean in a direction, walk in that direction. Really nothing else do it. I mean, as long as you don't rush it, you know, try to run... Then you know you should be able to do it in one shot. I was so close to losing there, I think, but I got—I managed to get it. Yay! Five whole pumpkins. <laughs> I love that. Just five pumpkins, and I'm done. I don't even report back to the boss. I'm just like, fuck it, I'm done. I'm out of here. <laughs> Link answers to no man. Yeah, just gotta get that one last God's chest, and I'm gonna go down to the desert. Where I, uh, I, uh, recall that, uh, no, those white targets I saw in, like, uh, Elden, the Elden Province and the forest, they were not bow and arrow targets, they're claw shot targets. Because I'm an idiot. I could have sworn they were bow and arrow switches, but no, they're claw shot, uh, targets. Ugh, God. Bow and arrow? What was I thinking? But yeah, got that cleared up. I got a lot of misconceptions to clear up, don't I? And there's Fun Fun Island in the distance, but you can't do that for a little bit. You have to do a little side quest in order to uh, play there. Which I can't do until, uh, well, I, until after this dungeon. I think there are two guys' chests here, too. Now that I think about it. Yeah, see, I see one right there. Behind the cage. Who put that cage there, now that I think about it? And there's a third one, too. Man, this place is just a treasure trove, huh? Literally. I can't wait to see what's inside. It's... Oh, seed satchel. Oh, that's, uh, great. Don't know why I did that. 
See you later.